Hello YouTube, it's me, Xander's the Only God, and we're continuing from where we left off last time. Sorry, I didn't get an outro. It just kinda ended. Alexa, resume. I'm not sure if you guys can really hear this audio, Beginning to notice him, but I'm playing an audio book. The other Cygnus. He stood out in a crowd. None of the others carried anything with him. Louis was delighted with the new trumpet. All day, the first day he had it, he tried to get it to make a noise. Holding the trumpet was not easy. He tried several different positions, bending his neck and blowing. At first, no sound came out. He blew harder and harder, puffing out his cheeks and getting red in the Yo, face. Yo, swans have cheeks? This is going to be tough, he thought. But then he discovered that by holding his tongue in a certain way, he could get the trumpet to emit a small, gasping sound. It wasn't a very pretty noise, but at least it was a noise. It sounded a little like hot air escaping from a radiator. Beautiful music. Louis kept at it. Finally, on the second day of trying, he got it to play a note, a clear note. Louis' heart skipped the beat when he heard it. A duck swimming nearby. Okay, we just added. Listening. He just added more. Yeah, he just added more. It's supposed to be all one note. It may take time, thought Louis. I'm not going to become a trumpeter in a day, that's for sure. Rome wasn't built in a day, and I'm going to learn to blow this horn if it takes me all summer. Louis had other problems besides learning the trumpet. For one thing, he knew that his trumpet wasn't paid for. It had been stolen. He didn't like that at all. For another thing, Serena, the swan he was in love with, had gone away. She had left the lakes with several other young swans and had flown north to the Snake River. Louis was afraid he might never see her again. So he found himself with a broken heart, a stolen trumpet, and no one to give him any lessons. Whenever Louis was in trouble, his thoughts turned to Sam Beaver. Sam had helped him before, perhaps he could help him again. Besides, springtime was making him restless. He felt an urge to leave the lakes and fly somewhere. So he took off one morning and headed straight to the Bar Nothing Ranch in the sweet grass country where Sam lived. Flying was not as easy as it once had been. If you've ever tried to fly with a trumpet dangling from your neck and a slate flashing in the wind and a chalk pencil bouncing around at the end of its string, you know how hard it can be. We realized that there were advantages in traveling light and not having too many 